Welcome to the White Chocolate Source channel. In this video, I will show you how to install Fedora on a Microsoft Surface laptop, particularly on a Surface Laptop 3, which is my current laptop. I will be dividing the steps into five parts. First is downloading Fedora ISO, creating bootable USB, installing it on the laptop, then installing Surface Linux kernel, then hardware tests. So let's start. First, let us open the browser and head on to Fedora Linux website. Then scroll into Fedora Workstation and click Download Now. Then we select the ISO for Intel and AMD x86-64 systems. Next, plug in your USB, then open Rufus. Then select the ISO file that we have downloaded. For partition scheme, select GPT, then leave the rest as default. Then click Start and OK. Now let's head on to our laptop and plug in our bootable USB. Let's turn on the laptop and press F4 to get into the boot option. Go to boot configuration and make the USB storage as the priority and deselect the Windows boot manager. Now go to security tab and change secure boot configuration. Here we select the Microsoft and third party CA. Okay, we're good to go. Now click start Fedora workstation. Let us now install Fedora. So select the language, then continue. For installation destination, let's select our disk and click reclaim space. Then we need to clean up our disk, so select delete all. Then click reclaim space. Then we can now begin the installation. This will take some time, so I will just fast forward the video. After the installation, we can now power off our laptop and remove our USB. Then power it on again. After boot up, let's click Start Setup, then connect to our Wi-Fi, then click Next. Here we turn off Location Services and Automatic Problem Reporting. Then leave the rest as default. Now input our name and create a username and the password. Okay, we're done with the installation. Now let's head on to installing our Surface Linux kernel. On the laptop, let's open the terminal and the GitHub link that has the guidelines for Linux kernel. I will put the link on the description. Then head on to Fedora and just copy the commands and paste it to the terminal. By the way, I did a screen recording on the laptop but the video turns out a bit broken. But that's okay, we can still read it.
So after we install the secure boot key, we need to remember the password which is Surface. We can now reboot the laptop. In my case, the MOK or machine owner key blue screen didn't pop up. It just boot normal after I rebooted the laptop. But in case if the blue screen pops up on your device, you can follow this step to register the key. Okay, we're almost done. Now we just need to change the secure boot configuration to Microsoft and third party CA. And the boot configuration is already set to Fedora. Let's log in our account. Okay, let's test it. Touchscreen is now working. Let's check the function buttons on the laptop. Touch scrolling on Firefox is also smooth, as well as the video playback on YouTube. Let's also test the camera. And also there are power options that we can select here, power saver or high performance. And there's also an option to change the theme to dark mode, which is cool. Okay, that's all for this video. We have successfully installed Fedora on our Surface laptop. I will play around with it and see if it will fit on my needs on the laptop. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like this kind of content. Thank you and see you on the next one.